this video we are going to be looking at the sweet stuff known as honey, what it's made of, where it comes from, and looking at some interesting chemistry behind why it never goes off if stored correctly. Honey production begins with the honey bee, as can be seen here collecting nectar from a flower. Nectar contains mostly complex sugars and is also roughly 80% water. Once inside the bee, the nectar mixes with an enzyme known as glucose oxidase, which breaks down complex sugars such as sucrose into more simple sugars such as glucose and fructose. The forager bee will pass on this nectar solution to the house bee. The house bee will then regurgitate and re-drink this solution over and over again over a 20 minute period, slowly breaking down the complex sugars. The nectar is then deposited in the honey comb where the bees collectively fan it to encourage water evaporation. The water concentration of the honey then falls to approximately 17% from the original 80% that it was in the nectar. So you can see that the honey now has a thick viscosity compared to a watery nectar solution. And this leads us on to the next point about why honey never goes off. To illustrate this point it is worth mentioning that there were samples of honey found in ancient Egyptian tombs and it was also found that the honey was still in fact edible. So what are the factors that prevent honey from going off? Well firstly, we're going to mention the water concentration. It's been said that honey has a water concentration of approximately 17%. This means that any bacteria wishing to consume the honey will simply become dehydrated and they will die. However, despite this, it is important for honey to remain sealed, thus preventing it to draw in water from its surroundings. The second factor I wish to mention is the pH of honey, i.e. how acidic it is. And it turns out, in fact, that honey is quite acidic, having low pH values ranging from 3 to 4. This is due to the presence of gluconic acid, and also small amounts of hydrogen peroxide. These environments, again, are too hostile for bacterial growth, thus preventing the honey from spoiling. That all being said, if you don't take good care of your honey, it can undergo some sensory and nutritional changes which are brought about through bad storage and high temperatures. These unhelpful conditions can encourage reactions such as the Maillard reaction. This is kicked off by a reaction between glucose, which is essentially sugar, what makes the honey sweet, and an amino group of an amino acid. This forms a compound called glycosylmine, also known as a shift base. This then undergoes an amidori rearrangement which converts the imine part of the molecule to an aldol, thus eventually leading to ketosamine. Through the acidic medium in which the reaction takes place and some subsequent rearrangements we end up with a compound called hydroxymethylfurfural, or 5-HMF for short. This compound is used as a marker for poor honey, as its very presence proves that there has been sugar decomposition in the honey, meaning it will not taste as sweet. So there we are, we've looked at what honey is, how it's made and why it doesn't spoil. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy your honey as much as Winnie does.